Nano Banana Pro is a truly powerful AI model. What if we combine its capabilities with Google Earth for an ultimate workflow? Let's try combining the already powerful mapping software of Google Earth with Nano Banana Pro and see what potential it can unlock. From placing designs on site to creating vector map and aerial views, this can be a highly useful workflow for architects, designers, and urban planners. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so we can grow together as a design community. So let's get started. Create vector maps with Google Earth. We can actually create vector drawings with Nano Banana Pro and turn them into editable CAD files. Let's locate our site on Google Earth. And for this demonstration, I have picked a site in Detroit, which has a nice mix of buildings, landscapes, roads, and water bodies. You can screenshot the view or save this as an image from the icon on top. Once we do that, let's head over to Google AI Studio and choose Nano Banana Pro. Upload the image on a new chat. And as for the prompt, let's keep it simple. Create a vector style black and white drawing of this location of Detroit on a white background. No text or labels. And we also ask the platform to properly distinguish the spaces and pathways. I'm choosing a resolution of 4K, which should be ideal to convert this into a CAD file. We can click expand to view model thoughts and we can see how the model analyzes our prompt to create the output. It's turning out well, and let's wait for the final output. We have a result, and as you can see, this has done a great job. There are some issues with the buildings not looking too completed, and that is because we have taken a screenshot on a zoomed out scale. Here's a comparison from the screenshot and the output. We can take this image and turn it into an editable CAD file with any free online converter. Now to convert this into a CAD file, you can head over to this website called convertico.co, upload your image on the main screen and choose the output as DWG or DXF. Click convert and within a few seconds, we will have a CAD file. Here's the CAD file that we just downloaded. As I mentioned, the issues with the lines are because we have saved the image on a zoomed out scale. Take a look at another example here where the screenshot is mostly just roads and landscapes. I followed the same process and I've adjusted the prompt accordingly. This gives us a cleaner and better output compared to the previous one and all the roads are neatly aligned. We can convert that into a CAD file and this is the result. We can build this map further by simply taking a screenshot of the areas on the right or left side of the map and stitching them together for a larger map. But before using these, keep in mind the accuracy of this map. Street elevations from Google Earth. Street elevation drawings are now few seconds away with this workflow. I've chosen the location of Italy on Google Earth where 3D buildings are available. Let's consider these group of buildings to create a streetscape. Just take a screenshot and for more accuracy, I'm just going to open the image on Photoshop and mark the area for which we want to create the elevation. Save the image, head over to Google AI Studio and on a new chat, upload the screenshot and follow this prompt on the screen. In just a few seconds, we have the result in the chat. The platform has taken in consideration of the group of buildings and separated them individually. It has also added colors to all these building blocks almost accurately and it has added some labels, street names and a few building names available from Google Earth. Here's a comparison of the input and result. But what if the Google Earth location does not have 3D models. Take a look at this location in Mumbai, where almost everything on the terrain is flat. There's one major landmark here, which is an international doll museum. And we can use this as a cue. I'm going to search for the same location on Google, choose images, and on top, we have the street view and 360 degree. Click that, and this will open the complete street view of that specific location. Now, we can just walk around the street and take screenshots from specific angles from where we want to create the elevation. Let's take a screenshot of the aerial view first and then jump into the street view and click about three to four screenshots of this group of buildings. Once done, let's create a new chart on Google AI Studio and upload all these images. Choose your preferred resolution and the aspect ratio plays an important role here. Since it's going to be an horizontal image, we can go with the 16 is to nine ratio follow the prompt on the screen and these are the results. The results are surprising and impressive at the same time. It has created not just some accurate elevations but also taken in all the local context like posters, vehicles and so on. The text labels are precise and even the posters and billboards too. The scale on the drawing, I'm not too sure about it but all the other elements look top notch.
Nano Banana Pro is truly reshaping how architects visualize floor plans. And to help you adapt faster, we have created a complete floor plan rendering masterclass using Nano Banana Pro for architects and designers. Many of you have already seen results from the previous version of the masterclass which we launched on the Nano Banana and with the new Nano Banana Pro, we have updated it even further. The updated masterclass shows you how to create impressive isometrics, realistic floor plan visuals and stylistic renders from a simple 2 cat drawing with no prior experience needed. You'll also get a PDF with 30 press prompts that can help you turn your simple CAD drawings into high quality visuals. Check out the Gumroad link in the description to access this masterclass. Create aerial views for remote locations. Not every location on Google Earth is fully mapped out. Some remote locations have very less data and this workflow can help you resolve that. I wanted some aerial views for a remote location in my state and I wasn't able to find that on Google Earth. The location is a lighthouse near a shore with a few buildings around the site and as you can see, the terrain is completely flat. Let's save this image first and on Google, Let's search for the exact location and find some images of the same. Now let's upload all these images on Google AI Studio and prompt it to create an aerial view photograph of this location using the attached images as reference. And there we have the results. We can see that this looks a lot more workable whether we use this for references, presentations or design purposes. The platform has blended all the images that we provided to produce this output. I re-ran the prompt to create the image in a 16 to 9 ratio and here's the comparison. This can come in handy for a lot of use cases. Place designs on site. We no longer have to go through the trouble of placing designs on a site manually on Photoshop. It can now be done in seconds. I picked an empty site in Mumbai and let's use this image for the demonstration. I have a render with me of a tower and let's try placing this tower on the site. I would also like to show you the sketch and context feature of Nano Banana Pro. Let's open the image on Photoshop and let's mark the exact location of the tower. Now along with that, let's also mark a few pathways and swimming pool right on the site. This can help Nano Banana Pro identify the elements on the image. Let's upload this image along with the render on Nano Banana Pro and here's the prompt that I'm using. We describe it to place the render on the location and also design the site along with the swimming pool and create an ultra realistic aerial drone style view. The time taken to give the output depends on the complexity of the image and the prompt provided. Here's the output and as you can see, it has not just placed the towers, but also designed the site on the location. It has added depth and perspective to all the other buildings around the site. And it has fixed the viewing angle of the image to a more naturally looking drone style view. This was a result from a similar workflow on the previous version of Nano Banana. And we can see that the results looks cute. But on the new version, it looks a lot more natural. We can of course download this image and stylize them as we prefer. I've tried changing this into a twilight view to make it seem like a luxury real estate photograph. Just don't let the Mumbai real estate developers see this. Separating buildings from image. Removing a specific building from an image in Photoshop is a very tedious process and this workflow can help you do that faster. I have this aerial view of Dubai with the Burj Khalifa on the center. Let's upload that into Google AI Studio and prompt it to remove Burj Khalifa from the image and place it on a plain white background. You can choose the resolution as you prefer and click run. There we can see that such a complex element has been neatly removed in just under 15 seconds. This might seem like a minor use case, but think about a scenario when you'll have to remove elements from 10 images. This can save a significant amount of time. Annotate buildings. This is perfect if you want to create quick infographics or presentations. I've simply taken a screenshot of the Notre Dame Cathedral from Google Earth. Let's upload the result and ask the platform to highlight the cathedral in an AR visualization style, along with annotations, architectural styles, history and dimensions. We have a really cool looking infographic and it also has labels added directly onto the image. I've cross-checked these numbers and information on Google and they are accurate. These workflows basically take away the repetitive tasks which we wouldn't like doing them anyway. And if you want to use them for presentations, you can directly download these and add them to your slide or articles. So that was it from some powerful use cases of Nano Banana Pro combining with the capabilities of Google Earth. Let me know which of these workflow you found the most interesting. Make sure to check the masterclass on realistic flow plan rendering with Nano Banana. The link is in the description. I hope you found this video to be helpful. 
And if you did, please hit the like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.